And then we had some other equipment that I never heard of and that was brand new and it made in Indianapolis, Indiana. What they call a sniper scope and also a super scope. And what it was, you could see at night. Really mm -hmm. good. And it didn't shine a light, you couldn't see it. If somebody was using it, didn't throw a flashlight or anything, see. And uh, you could see 50 yards away, real plain. But everything looked gray in there. Mm -hmm. And all this super scope. They also made them for sniper scopes. You could mount them on a rifle and shoot it at nighttime. Mm -hmm. And no one could see that you were watching them, see. Mm -hmm. and we thought that was really something. Man. Mm -hmm. You know, you could see at night and nobody could see it. It was like a flashlight that was mm -hmm. shining around. And it had a little battery on there, about eight or ten inches wide, maybe two inches thick, ten or twelve inches tall. It's a wet cell battery, like a car battery. And uh, it put out 4,000 volts in a, a wet cell. And four little, and the side of the battery had little eyeglasses that you could see in there. Four little tubes had different colored bulbs in there. And this battery would last four hours of continuous running. Of course, it could last all night because it didn't just turn it on a whole amount, see. But you just use the back mod as anyhow. Put it in a little backpack. It didn't weigh hardly anything. With a big wire coming over to your scope. You had the super scope was just one you could hand like like this. But on the sniper scope was on your right. Uh, so uh, and I forget now they told us whenever you if you ever lost this thing or got shot or something why destroy this thing right away because it was top secret and they didn't want anybody to know we had it, see. Mm -hmm. So I can get that high real quick they just did some little thing. And that thing just blow up and just melt it out, see. Mm -hmm. And so we learned how to do that and it came on a little pack on your back. Well and then they had a little uh, uh, rack that we put these in. We had twenty four of these batteries. And it, during the daytime, it, behind the line, they it, charge them up, see, all 24 of them. And they would get, get them, and, and a whole bunch of guys would, would use them all, you know, in different parts of the line. And boy, it was nice you could see them, because uh, the jets like to crawl up real close to you, see. And they were good at it. And in the jungles and stuff, they'd sneak up on you. Mm -hmm. And so we would just wait for them. Mm -hmm. Also, when we go out on patrols, we take this one to the sleep with, and so we can see where we're going, so you go down the front lines and all. And uh, you can see them where they see you. But now, if the Jap had something shiny like a rich watch or a shiny button on his coat or something, you can see for 100 to 150 yards of that thing, mm -hmm. because that little bit of shiny, whatever it is, would reflect light enough in this thing. Mm -hmm. And so we practiced using those things, how to use them and all. And uh, but we have to charge them up in daytime behind the line because it had a little bit of gas in motor that went up the charger. See, they charged all 24 of these batteries every day. So we learned how to use them things and how to use it as a spoke. Uh, telescope sight, a night sight. So there's a lot of different ways of shooting, see. And uh, they would learn how to live off the land. 